Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 14 of my Minecraft Stone Block Let's Play series. <laughs> I've gotten so much done off camera. <laughs> it's crazy, but uh, yes, I was busy yesterday. Uh, so let let me start off by saying I forgot to turn in two of the quests from the last episode uh, because I had made the uh, the magma generator uh, and the furnace generator. In order to make the magmatic generator you must make a furnace generator. So I forgot to turn in those two. So let's go ahead and claim those two right now. And I believe I also did two more. Okay, I did this one on accident, the end stone, um, because I was opening up bags and one of them had the end stone on it. So we got that one done. And then I had to, I had to do the floral fertilizer one. And I'll explain to you why. Um, I wanted to make a kitchen with the cooking for blockheads mod and I couldn't because I didn't have any black dye <laughs> so it was horrible uh, you know and I, I mean there are different ways you can get the black dye but the easiest one is to go into Batania so let's uh all I did was I came over here and I bone milled the grass until I got 10 red flowers. Um, I got 11, but I, ha I, got, I was getting so many yellow flowers that it wasn't funny uh, compared to the red ones. So, yeah. <laughs> oh look, they gave us Alexica Botania. Uh, as a reward for that quest. Um, I didn't even notice. So once you do that you can take um, two of the red dye and two of the yellow dye, combine it with a bone meal and that gives you the floral fertilizer and then you can use the floral fertilizer on the ground to get botania flowers and uh, then once you get the botania flowers you have basically unlimited of that amount of dye. Uh, you just take uh, the flower, you turn it into petal, and you can plant the petals. You plant the petals, then you bone meal them, and then shear them. So you can, you can hardly tell, but there's a little twinkle on that grass block. You can see it just a little twinkle but if you bone meal that it grows up into a tall mystical flower which you then have to use shears on you can't uh, you can't break it with your fist if you do then it just disappears and you don't get anything but if you break it with your shears you get a too tall flower which you can then turn into four black petals instead of just the two so as long as you have one of the color, you, you can do that, turn your bone meal into different dyes, which is awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's put that book away. All right, so let's go ahead and see what, so let's go back over here because uh, my chest for all this stuff is over here. Let's open these up. Oh, some black lotus. Um, more viaducts. It, it's interesting that uh, one of the things I haven't seen in this is uh, a furnace. In every one that I've played, I've gotten some type of furnace, like a diamond furnace or ultimate furnace, uh, but not in this one. Oh, chance cubes. <laughs> So that wasn't very good. We've gotten over a stack of black lotus and eight blacker lotus. 
so yeah there we go oh um I need to do some work on this uh, I I did a little bit I took the whole mob farm and I moved it back three blocks and made it bigger and then I installed I took the fans out and installed vector plates that push the mobs um, into the area and pretty much everything else is the same it's a little bit wider it was only um, it was only one or two wide uh, but now it's 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 super long um, we're not getting like any mob drops at all just bags so I don't know you know what's going on with that there's no interface um, I have gaboodles of pink slime now I want to uh, show you why I made these blocks so that I could deal a little bit easier with the bags and I would also like to set up um, a way to automatically open these because I have so many I've gotten so many of these bags. I just, every once in a while, I'll come back here and I click a bunch out and throw them back in. <laughs> and I've been just uh, putting all of these bags in and getting the legendary ones out. Just so it takes a little bit less time to deal with. Another thing I would like to do is... Um, to deal with the diamond stuff and the leather stuff um, I'm not getting as much of the leather since I am only getting the epic loot bags uh, because they, they seem to only drop diamonds but I've got so much diamond stuff now that I need a pulverizer to pulverize this because if you push U on this you can see you know it's used in all these recipes but if you put it in a pulverizer you can get diamonds back out of it. So that's like free diamonds sitting there. I can crush all of those and put them into diamonds. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to rush into dealing with all of this until I get some sort of digital storage. Um, I know I said I would... Uh, we have eight 64k ME storage components. Uh, I prefer the um, the other one. I forgot what it was called. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> refined storage. <laughs> I prefer the refined storage because it re it's like what applied energistics used to be in the beginning um, until it got more more and more complicated and they have some cool refined storage add-on mods that make it even better a even more like applied energistics is now uh, so I really like that uh, worst case we can go into um, Applied energistics. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did upgrade all my tools. It might be hard to tell. I thought I thought um I made a new hammer and uh because I saw this buff uh that you get from Ardite. It's called Petramore. And if you look, okay, um, I don't think any of that says it. Okay, I think I had it on, no, there it is, 
The Petromore buff, it says your tool loves stone. It literally wants to absorb it for durability. I don't know um, how that works. Uh, so I thought I'd try it out. I don't know if it's stone or cobblestone. <laughs> absorb! Absorb! I don't know if it gets um, consumed when it breaks because it it's not um, it's still taking damage and I was curious as to why uh, so let's try the regular cobble flap boom <laughs> eat it I don't know it's not working uh, but anyway it's supposed to absorb stone to recover its durability and then I, I wasn't sure if it took cobblestone or stone so I made one of the heads out of sponge to give it silk touch so if I mine with this I only get stone which is pretty cool um, so yeah, but I used all of my slime, my pink slime that I've been getting from over there to uh, upgrade these tools. Uh, so <laughs> if you look at the pink slime tool there as a modifier of 2.5 and it adds 2000 durability. It's awesome. It's, in my opinion, the best um, handle you could have. It depends on where you want to go with it. I mean, I'm trying this Petromore thing because I thought it would sort of give it a repair. Um, but now that I see that it's not really doing that, it might be better to add something that adds another modifier. And I put luck on the pick and uh, the matic. So I could get fortune. Um, yeah, I'll also put an Ardite binding on here. Ardite binding adds another 450 durability. So look at the durability on this thing. 5,000 on the pick. 4,000 on the matic. Almost 4,000 on the hatchet. Um, it would have been over, but I decided against doing the cobalt, um, I mean the Ardite binding on it because it just didn't make sense because that makes it want to eat stone but it's an axe <laughs> so the axe chops wood not stone so it just didn't make sense to put it on there and um, I did put slime on this on this guy here uh, so but this one doesn't have uh, the sponge I got all the sponges from opening loot bags, so <laughs> I had it, so I figured I'd use it. Uh, but uh, that one just does cobblestone. And the thing with the getting the pink slime, well, that's what I wanted to mention because my pink slime tank is completely full back there. Um, also, oh yeah, 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 I don't know if I mentioned this, but I... I had to add an, a nullifier for the liquid meat um, because once it got the, the tank for the liquid meat full it would stop pushing out um, liquid because it was stuck sending out the liquid meat so it wasn't working. So I had to do something with the liquid meat. So now we're completely full on the pink slime because I haven't uh, emptied it. 
Oh, look at that. It's completely full. Uh, I haven't emptied it because once I put it on my tools and I was using, I was using that hammer and I cleared out a whole bunch yesterday. Uh, the slimy buff that you get on there whenever you're mining, um, or like with this, if I'm killing a mob, I have a small chance that one of those pink slimes is going to spawn and then I could kill it. So I got quite a bit more of the pink slime just from using the hammer. I mean, I was completely out and now I have 18 and I haven't even used the bucket, uh, the stuff back there. So, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so... Oh, and I've been monitoring uh, the sieving system. Oh, boy. There's so many, like, parrots and whatnot. Endermen running around my base. Uh, oh my god, this is going so fast. Look at how much it's backed it up. I need to, I guess, put... Oh, this one's out of power. That's... I was going to say, I've got... Uh, it seemed to be keeping up, and now it's out of power. So, oh. I think this only has... Yeah, it's got... Does it have two specter coils? No, it's oh, it only had the one. Huh, okay, so I need to go, uh, because I've been opening so many bags. I've gotten a couple of specter coils. Uh, have one here. Um, we might need to let's let's put one on it and see if that helps. Oh, we gotta go up. There's something weird about um, <laughs> these uh, these boots, the slime boots. Oh, Parrot, what are you doing? Um, it appears to be working. So let's see. Okay, that one's filled up now. That one's filled up. Okay, we might need to go turn this off for a while and let that catch up. Oh, man. Because it's been... Um, pretty much jamming this thing full. Let's turn both of these off. Alright, so I adjusted this. Um, I added the three uh, magma generators, magmatic generators. Finished this system up. I also put in upgrades and I watched it for a while and made sure that um, I bumped it up to like where it had three in there where it was producing or no it had two in there so each one was producing 120 RF a tick but uh, that was way too much for these three machines um, and now these guys are full Yeah, and this is full. So we just need to let that system upstairs get caught up. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so what I did was I bumped them all up until they were going really fast. And then started dialing them back until it just was keeping... It started getting a surplus in here. And then I knew it would eventually fill up because it was going faster. Uh, so then uh, I dialed it back down to where there's only one in each generator. 
so it's only producing 240 RF a tick. So two Spectre coils could do this. Uh, but at the time, I didn't have two extra Spectre coils. So yeah. And then I also dialed these back down to where they only have three in there. So that freed up some more grid power. Um, and I added uh, one stonework factory was not uh, keeping up with this, but when I added the second one, bam, it started filling up. So two will keep up with this sieving system, no problem. And it looks like all, all of ours, since we got that turned off, those aren't working. And all of that is full, awesome. Awesome. Okay, so I think... Oh, and I added this in because cooking for blockheads takes a ton of terracotta. And this is just... Um, behind there is a sink feeding into the wooden barrel, feeding water in. Uh, it's just a... Uh, <laughs> extra utilities... Um, liquid node on there with one pipe uh, to feed it in into there and then I can just come and throw in dust and get clay out so all I did was I took uh, I had the clay uh, or, or the dust that was in that chest and I went and put it that in there and then I grabbed like four stacks out of here because it's all backed up which I can probably go ahead and do that now just refill that thing up and then we, we have to play anytime we need it so there we have it oh Another quest we could do real quick is I got these Wither Skeleton Skulls early, early on. And I think that's all you need to do a quest. Yeah. Um, one of the beginning quests, this one is to just have three Wither Skeleton Skulls. Yeah. While I'm in the nether. <sighs> Screw you, hippie. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, um, I think we could, we'd probably do this one too, because I think you can craft the end rods and the evil tears. I'm not sure yet though. Uh, let's look. End rod. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah, that's the that's the kicker is that you need the lavender quartz from Batania. So, um, all you have to do is have one of these pink tuli, pink tulip, <laughs> pink tulips, the allium, the lilac, or the peony. Um, the only thing is, I don't know how I'm supposed to get these to start out. Oh, I know. Um, I can't do that yet. Okay. Um, because you go to the mining dimension. Let's put these in. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, more black lotus. Is that like all you get from there is Black Lotus? Um, what I might want to do... Uh, okay, we can't really do that until we go to another dimension, to the mining dimension. And then I believe they're all over the place there. Uh, so that's a no-go. Um, this one I think we might be able to do... Uh, I haven't found, I, I went back into the nether because I needed some more cobalt to make that hammer, uh, this hammer. Um, I 
but I didn't stick around for very long. I just got my um, cobalt and then I left. So, but I have been getting blaze rods from bags, as uh, from the loot bags. Look at that, we've got eight tier three growth crystals, wow. Uh, since I've only been looting the epic bags, they drop quite frequently in those. And since I'm turning everything into epic bags, I'm getting them a lot more. Um, we don't need to go to the nether to get the blaze rods. We can, um, there are several ways we can do it. Exnilo has a way to uh, get blaze rods. Oh, look, there's another bag. Um, you can make a stone barrel, put a lava in it, um, and then right click it with a doll. Of, oh, there's another <coughs> three wither skeleton skulls. That is crazy. Three pieces of diamond armor in that. Uh, you can summon a blaze with Ex Nihilo, kill it, and then hope it drops uh, a blaze rod. Or, or you can sieve and get blaze powder. I think we have a little bit back here. Uh, and if you look, there's a compactor in thermal expansion that you can use to turn five blaze powder into a blaze rod. Bada bing! So we only need one and we could do that. Uh, so we'll probably do that. Um, let's see. We only need one more and then we can, uh, if you look, I mean, we could probably do the quest without following the quest chain, but if you follow the cobblestone quest chain, it sends you to the deep dark and to the aroma mining dimension. The deep dark's going to be a little bit before you can get into there because you got to have a lot of cobblestone and you got to turn it into, you know, quintuple and septuple compressed cobblestone to get it, but this one isn't as bad. You can get to this one first. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but mostly after all of that, I was kind of do doodling around with all that stuff um, while I was working on the cooking for blockheads, which I, I dug out a bunch of rooms and <laughs> built this kitchen. I also built the under there. Oh, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be down here. So this is a room underneath all of our farming areas so that I could come in and say like pop this block out and then I have access to um, the automated farms, which I don't, I built, they're from Cyclic. I decided to go with those because I've never used them before and I want to see how they work. Um, if, if they're any good, I'm not sure they're automated, so they'll, they'll be pretty freaking amazing. Uh, and I have another one over here. So I figured I could clear out these rooms, um, and put all like the wiring and stuff down. Uh, maybe use the front and back walls to put the storage for whatever it's farming in. And then just have it like run to um, a drawer controller about here. And then the drawer controller can uh, be connected to some trim that's connected to the storage. Uh, the storage drawers. So that's what I was thinking. Also, I dug and I dug because I was testing out this hammer. I wanted to see uh, most of it I did with the other hammer. Like I did all of these rooms and then I was like, well, 
I wanted to try out the Petra more and it, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to be working or it only does it part of the time or something. But anyway, I dug out all of this stuff. <laughs> There we go. Uh, so when I do decide to automate all the stuff for the mob farm, we can move all that uh, stuff down here. And because I wanted, I have plans. I have plans. I wanted to do so much. Um, and I'm thinking that right about here, I want to put some more um, and another elevator. Because this is the only one, <laughs> and it's a long road to get over there. Um, oh yeah, so these things take a lot of play. Each block takes like five terracotta. Uh, that's the cooked clay blocks. Um, so <laughs> I wanted the uh elevator block to be sort of hidden so it's not like just out there for everyone to see i want to get the other market uh oh he's called the weathered salesperson huh i wonder if it's the market i don't know that's the one farming for blockheads because i want to make the other market from pam's just so i could have Oh, but I think this one is just, it's just a block. It doesn't have the guy, I don't think. Oh, my cat. <laughs> I got a food processor and she is digging around in the box trying to get in there. Yeah, I don't think this one has the dude. So I guess. Yeah. We can hold off on that. But this thing is super awesome. I built like one of everything. Except I don't have the cooling unit for the fridge. Uh, because getting snowballs is a little bit complicated if you look at cooking um, if you uh, cooking for blockheads is so freaking awesome because it has all these things it's a multi-block structure like this whole thing is all connected um, each one it just completely wraps around and then it's connected to the top up there which is just for a lot of storage for different items <laughs> apologize if you hear the uh cat scratching at the box so uh, she's getting a little excited these are spice or no tool racks and spice racks they actually connect it to the top row oh and the the cow in a jar is also connected to the top row so that is awesome okay so each of these blocks provides something unique to cooking for blockheads uh, this is the main um, way you're gonna craft but it's crafted in a totally different way uh, so it looks at items in your inventory and items in each and every one of these blocks to craft things. Um, and it also looks at all of these tools that are in the oven and the tools that are on the spice rack, or I mean the tool rack. It also looks at this cutting board that's connected uh, I mean, everything that's touching it, it will look for that. And if you can use it in a recipe, you then don't have to have it on your person because it sees it here and then it goes, oh, well, you can use this to make this. And it shows you all the different recipes that you can make. Right now, all we can do is make 
water because we can make water because there's a sink here that provides us with water. Uh, we can make milk because there are cow in a jars here and those guys provide us with milk. If we want, I think we could go and take a bucket and scoop out the milk like boo and then drink it up. Yum, uh, got milk. <laughs> so it's 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 awesome. It just it just is. Um, you can cook things in here, which we might actually look at doing because um, I believe this would be more efficient than our other oven since we don't we didn't get another furnace. Uh, you know like a diamond furnace or a ultimate furnace we didn't get that so uh, this will cook multiple items at once and have looks like it will have multiple outputs maybe I haven't really used this a whole lot uh, but yeah it's got a little toaster oh my god I want to go make the bread and show you this this is so adorable I love it um, let's make a bread. Oh, that's the grinder we want to. Um, I just want to make a bread. How do you make a bread? Do you have to like grind it into flour first or something? Okay, so you can make it into wheat flour. Is there no just normal? Uh, it doesn't look like there's a normal bread recipe. All right. Um, huh, sugar cookies awesome oh <laughs> sorry i get so sidetracked easily we never need to make uh yeah there is no bread recipe so we can just take one turn it into this wheat flour and then cook the wheat flour i just want one bread one bread that's all i need <laughs> i don't need anything else okay so then if we cook this we, we need fuel, we need fuel. Uh, I wonder if sticks will work in there, yes. So now, oh, it did not cook it in time. Wow, okay, I guess it does cook things, but that, I could have cooked the one bread with two sticks in a, in a furnace and that took eight, seven, seven sticks, but it will cook multiple things. So we got one bread. Now if you take this bread, oh, this is so adorable, and you go and you put it in the toaster. Look, it goes into the toaster. Oh, and you have to push the little lever down <laughs> and then it sucks it into the toaster and then it cooks it. It's got a toasting uh, progress bar up there and then when it gets done, it, boom, it pops it out and you have toast. And that is like the most adorable thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. <laughs> it's awesome. Look at it. It's it's got like the little slots in there for you to put the bread in. The bread is actually in there. It's got, got little particle effects saying the bread is cooking. It's got like the little handle that you push down on a real toaster. It's just, I love it. It's, it's cute. <laughs> I would take it home with me, but I can't. I can only leave it here. Ah, oh, 
see it pops out and it flew right into my inventory because I was standing over it. So it made me some toast. <laughs> and that's just the basics. Right now we don't really have any ingredients in these cupboards or whatever. I have been making like I've made several stacks of each of these uh, just because that's all I had access to. So I, I made a bunch of water, made a bunch of salt at first because that's all I had. Then I remembered I had the cow in the jar, so I added that. I made the bubbly water, and then I the, having the cow in the jar provided fresh milk, and then I could do yogurt and heavy cream, butter, and cheese. And it looks like they changed the yogurt recipe. Because it used to like take a leather, now it just takes fresh milk and a pot, so that's pretty cool. And look at this, okay, so you can open the fridge. Here's all the things I've been making. <laughs> you can see stuff in there. It, and what's cool about these uh, blocks is that if you sneak while you open them, it, it leaves the... Um, the door open and you can actually look inside and see your stuff in there isn't that freaking awesome I love it uh, then you have to sneak and click again to get it to close but there's some water and stuff up here salt a bunch of salt oh, man my eyes my eyes have been watering so bad I just need a second. <sighs> All right. Sorry, I have a, like a little wet paper towel near me so that if my eyes start burning, I can just wipe them with the cool paper towel really quick. Oh. Okay, so yeah, this is super cool and awesome, even though we don't really have any ingredients yet. Uh, oh, look at this. This is a fruit basket. It's just like, um, you know, these containers only, you can put it on your counter right here and it will store, uh, what? I, it says it's for fruit, but I don't know if, it, if it's just restricted to fruit only, but it actually shows the picture of it. It's so cute. <laughs> I love it. Let's see. Can you put anything in there? I put my cobble in there and you can see. Yeah. You can put all kinds of stuff in there. Awesome. You can see all of them. So that is pretty cool. Alright. So what I want to do, I guess, um, I'm going to be working on, I need a power system to run these machines. I'm going to probably try to set up this one first and this one. I keep getting seeds from the bags and I just come over here and plant them. And occasionally when you harvest, uh, you get a seed as well. And I know I can do the cloches, but I've done that. <laughs> I've done it before and I don't know I wanted something different to do something different so I've never used these cyclic harvesters before so I thought that would be cool they look kind of cool um, they by default they require a redstone signal here's like I guess the power uh, you can have it show the area you can change the area it goes from one by one all the way up to 15 by 15 and this is only a nine by nine size so and uh, you can toggle between single or area um, I just had it uh, on single for now because I'm, I'm not really even using it. Uh, I guess uh, once I get power to it and it's and I get some storage over here, I'll see what um, if I need to adjust it to use the area 
maybe it'll keep up. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited to, you know, be getting deeper into the mod. Um, but at the same time, I want to stop and do some, you know, just just chilling and and doing some farming and uh, I'd like to get into chickens um, and from what I've seen I haven't actually done them myself my husband he loved them uh, when when we were playing uh, stone block together he did all of the chicken stuff and he just loved it um, uh, he compared it to bees, but said it was way better. <laughs> it's way better than bees because when you um, when you breed them, you don't get hybrids. Uh, you get either of the parents or you get the mutation. You don't get, well, it's got part of this one and then part of that one and then a little bit of this one. You just get what you're supposed to get <laughs> and that's it. Ah, uh, look, a poor little um, thing died. Okay, so what I want to do before we end the episode is I want to make that compactor. Was it, uh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna use the blaze powder. It's a compactor for thermal expansion. It's a thermal expansion machine, so shouldn't be a problem. I'd also like to make a pulverizer. So maybe we'll do a pulverizer and a compactor at the same time. Because if I have a pulverizer, I can pulverize all that diamond armor over there and clear up a whole lot of room. Oh, and it's not like we don't have the power for it because we have um, tons over here. So maybe since uh, this setup is producing so much extra power, I can just put um, like a little section right here, run some power cables over. Boink right there and and then that'll be where we place those I believe I have some power cables oh did I put those in my bag I did so this shouldn't uh, shouldn't be too hard there we go we even have extra Boink. All right, so now we're ready. So let's look at uh, the compact door. And the pulverizer is going to have a bunch of stuff with it the pulverized iron and stuff. And I think even if you, if, if I put it pulverizer. Um, did I not spell it right? Oh, it's with the Z. Z. There we go. You have to spell it out completely to get rid of all the dust. Okay. So those are the two machines that we want. Um, okay. Copper. And bronze. I think we actually have some bronze. This just takes a gold, redstone, uh, iron, and tin. So we're gonna have to go, go ahead and put you there. Ooh, um, I'm going to go ahead and steal a couple of stacks of sand from there because I'm running very low on glass. So let's just cook up a whole bunch there. And you know what we might do? Because I have some string here. 
And we have these two inner pearls that we can just go doink. And, um, ooh, I ninja'd that. Um, let's fall down. <laughs> Boing. So I should be able to, there we go, there we go. Now I need to put that back. Awesome. Okay. All right, let's grab a little bit of this sand so we have enough for recipes. Hopefully, ooh, yeah, yeah, I think we, I think we'll have enough. Oh yeah, they love this place. <laughs> they just sit and chill. That one I actually tamed. I was trying to heal it with seeds and um, it now loves me, so. Okay, are we doing okay over here? Yeah, yeah, it got it all cleared up so we can turn it back on. Let's go ahead and, oops, uh, I think we needed tin and copper. Um, I think that's all we should need. Uh, we also need redstone. There we go, there we go. Um, I found if you let it bounce you twice, on the third one, if you hold shift, you don't take damage. But if you try to do it before, I need to get rid of this dirt. If you try to do it before the third one, you take damage. go. Awesome. And you can go over there. All right, let's make this compactor. Ooh, copper gears. Um, need two of those. Oh, bronze. That's right. We needed bronze. I is it just two? Okay, good. Uh, we got plenty. We got plenty. One of them. Oh, I don't have wood or cobblestone on me, so. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to go up to the tree area because I only have like two wood in there right now. And I haven't been up here in a while to check on this, well, on camera anyway. Look at all the stuff that we have. Let's just grab a whole bunch and put it down there. Yeah, we got tons of string and I haven't been, uh, I used it to make a bunch of fish stuff, but I haven't since then. Okay, so now we have our stuff and things. Compactor, we need the piston. All right, is that, oh, we need the machine frame, so we need the tin gear. And that should be it. Oh, <laughs> we got the compactor. We cheated the nether out of a victim, I mean, an adventurer. <laughs> Let's just clear this out and we'll put I think it was five in there. We only need the one. Oh, that was a big kitty sneeze. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> What's sad is um, now I need, oh, okay, okay. This is the one that was upgraded to diamond. I need this one. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And then we can go ahead and update it to a diamond, I mean, no, an emerald one. So let's let that update. Bada bing! And then we'll go, the next step is to 
turn it into an emerald one. So we can do that real quick. And then I guess next episode, did I get it? Yes. Um, we'll try going to the mining dimension. And there we go. Two quests this is done. Uh, now the pulverizer isn't for a quest. Let's put this back so it'll be able to uh, make all the stuff and things for us. So let's uh, check out those loot bags. We got that one. Oh, I already claimed the that one. Right. Oh man, I swear. I can't. This one's gonna be Black Lotus. Oh my god! Oh holy oh there are so, some rewards you're like, eh. But then, I mean, this isn't really going to do me any good right now because I'm not into Draconic Evolution just yet. But if you look at the recipe for this and see what it takes, it takes these Awakened Draconium ingots. Um, you have to make these in... Uh, if you look at the recipe for that, <laughs> or, or what it's used... Uh, Okay, I think you can only make it in the block form, and that's in the fusion crafting. So the fusion crafting takes a tier of Withern fusion crafting, which is pretty high up. Um, it also takes these draconic cores, six of them, and a dragon heart. And the dragon heart you get by killing the dragon, the ender dragon. Um, and so that is, well, you, you have to make, uh, you make four when you do one combined, but it's still, it's a quarter of a dragon heart anyway. And these draconic cores are each four draconium, four gold, and a diamond. So that's like 24 dracon draconic, uh, draconium ingots. So that's no big, small thing. That was, um, that's pretty freaking awesome. Awesome! <laughs> there we go. Um, I don't think there's any real... We could, we could do this easily. Um, we have to wait till we go to the mining dimension to do that because we need the flowers because um, right here all I'm getting is the red and yellow flowers I haven't seen a any other flowers at all I think in no I think it it's we just have to wait until we go to the mining dimension so yeah um, we're gonna go ahead and do up our pulverizer Okay, two more bronze gears. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna need flint. Flint. And a piston. And a machine frame, which takes a tin gear. Uh, so all we need is the flint. I don't believe I have... Uh -huh. I was going to say, I don't think I have a chest full of it because we're not currently getting it out of our sieving system. Awesome. Now we got the pulverizer. Um, I'm going to be probably working on getting all of the... the I know we can cut down the diamond armor and stuff, but it does take a lot of time to <laughs> get it cut down. 
Uh, so I'm just going to fill up. Um, there we go. And you can see for yourself that this takes a long time. It will cut it down. But look how slow that goes. Oh, it goes so slow. So what I might do is put an input here because those will all stack. Oh, maybe I can do input and output. Yeah, like that. And get auto input enabled. So I don't think, can you put, oh, you can put diamonds in there. Oh, who? Okay, so we don't want to do that. Um, okay, so maybe we'll have it put in through the top and out to the right there. And then we'll just grab, oh, I need a spot. I need a spot. Um, we'll just grab a couple of chests and make this a little bit easier so I don't have to just stand there <laughs> so now I can throw all of this stuff in here and then the diamonds will get put over there awesome okay so now I don't have to stand around uh, anyway uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Uh, we're looking at probably doing uh, the mining dimension. Yes, and and maybe some of the other side quests. I think, you know, we're far enough advanced now. We should be able to do most of the things in that beginning section, except for the very, very end one. <laughs> We're not ready for those yet. So, anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!